He's sleeping so peacefully, but I know deep down that his little body is just exhausted from the four hour bath and dressing change we just finished. I know he will have a restless night of sleep and that the pain will accompany him through the night. I am in awe of how strong my little man is. If he can wake up every day with a smile on his face, when he has every reason not to, how can I not wake up with a smile on my face? He often tells me he finds his strength in me, but I know that I find my strength in him. So maybe we find it in each other. Through his perseverance and resilience, he keeps a very positive outlook on life regardless of the obstacles Epidemolysis Velosa throws his way. He has a true meaning of fortitude and determination. He is my unwavering strength. I sit there caressing his strawberry blonde hair on the side of his face. I know that my present comforts him even when he's sleeping. I can feel his breathing slowing down. We are so in sync with each other. I've come to realize that we are connected heart and soul. I look at him sleep. I am completely enamored with him and so proud of the young man he's become. Looking at his small body next to me, it's almost hard to believe that he turns 16 on Thursday. Where does time go? My perfect little boy growing into the most beautiful human being I have ever met. I get a huge knot in my stomach to think that he's lived more than half his life already. People with this type of EB usually don't live past their 20s. I try hard not to think about it, but no matter how hard I try, it's always there like a nagging thought in the back of my mind. I mask it well by telling myself and the people around me that I take it a day at a time. I've gotten so good at saying it that my son has even started using it as his daily motto. I even believe it now. I actually take every day as it comes.